the Lakers, when they play the way that they've been playing three of the last four games, they win. When the offense so your goes cousin, so your cousin's wrong? Once again, when you say the press is on the Lakers? Listen, just pay your attention to the Lakers. Your cousin's in the NBA God, is wrong? Damn, yo, can you just listen? I'm asking you a question. Is your cousin wrong? No, don't ask me a question. You okay, talk, then. I listen. I talk, okay, you then. listen. Be okay, quiet. Then. Damn. The immortal right. Clay Thompson is immortal, and he will be back. He's been gone for three games, so it's time for him to, you know, cash in, or should I say, cash out on the Los Angeles Lakers. And that will be in game six. We know how game six Clay cut get down. And like I told everybody before the end of this series, this thing going seven a long way. It will be LeBron Ramon James. It will be Stephen Waddell, Waddell, Stephen Curry, the babyface assassin, looking at each other face to face for NBA supremacy in game seven, Golden State. Once again, we are reliving the past, and we're back. Deja vu and the day I do. Believe that. You guys going to see it. It's going to be right there in front of you. And at the end of the day, man, the best man is going to win. It's going to either be LeBron or it's going to be the chef. But tomorrow night will be Klay Thompson night. It will be Klay Thompson night. He will rain seven or eight threes on the Lakers, so Draymond. I won't have to give you 20 points. He did that last night because that made up for what Klay Thompson wasn't producing. But we know what time it is with Klay. We know how he is when his back is against the wall, when everybody's doubting him, when he's played three straight bad games, when the rumbling is that the Lakers are locking him up. He's going to come through rocking like a cutoff stocking. And then again, another thing, we don't need Draymond to give you 20. We need him to be who Draymond Green is supposed to be, who y'all said the Hall of Famer is, the emotional leader, the guy who's pushing lines, the guy who's challenging LeBron, the guy who's challenging AD physically, the guy who's running up and pushing the offense, the guy who's getting guys involved, the guy who's attacking and being aggressive, the guy who's out there doing any and everything to win. He wasn't doing it in game one through four. He pulled up last night, did what he had to do, and now tomorrow if he goes back to his normal self, which is close to around nine points, Nine rebounds, eight, eight, seven, eight assists, and Clay Thompson does what he's supposed to do. We already know Steph gonna draw attention. Wiggins gonna be solid. You understand what I'm saying? That should be enough to get them out of that game. Like I said before, man, the Lakers played with fire, and now they're gonna get their ass burned. Can I ask you this ticket in, in rebuttal? You talking about what? game six, Clay? And we talk, we've seen Steve Kerr go out publicly and say Clay takes bad shots, but those bad shots he makes, and so they live, they've lived and died by him pretty much for a majority of the dynasty. He's played bad three straight games. So you really think just because of the history of game six, Clay, you could expect him to come out and he's going to come out and carry them in this next game, let especially say this at you. home in the Oracle. Let me say, this, let me say this the, you, bro. Let, let me say something to you. Crypto.com. Clay Thompson is one of the greatest shooters that ever live in the game of basketball. He ain't fitting right. to go four games hot, not cooking. And I'm going to tell you something else, man. It's going to be a lot of pride on there for him. His daddy going to be calling the game. The great Michael Thompson is going to be calling the game. He's going to be in L.A. knowing that this is going to get them, be able to get them to a game seven. He's going to be knowing that if he plays another bad game, the series loss is going to be a lot of blame put on him because of how he's played the majority of this series. And also, Clay Thompson wants an extension. He's got a contract coming up. And the way to get that extension is, is to show up and show out. Listen, if you told me to bet my money, I'm betting my money next game on Clay Thompson. Point blank, period. And I trust Clay. In these type of situations, when it's all the chips is on the wood, when he knows, because it's, it's an elimination game for them tomorrow. So if the Lakers can't play, the Lakers can't play no games. The Lakers got to be on, on point. And, and this is the, you're, you're ignoring that D'Lo hasn't been doing much. You're ignoring that that fake-ass Lonnie Walker, who's supposed to be the fake-ass closer, he couldn't close last night. He tried to squeeze the clip, but it was nothing in that thing. You understand what I'm saying? You have to but remember was, that Austin Reeves, it ain't but so many pump fakes you can throw before the referee stop blowing the whistle for you. Mm -hmm. So the bottom line is this, man. Listen, when you see Clay run, and once we come in here on Saturday, or no, we'll be back Monday, Monday. you guys will all say, God damn, boy, that boy ticket, it ain't nothing other. You can Lonnie, say Walker not our not, Lonnie Walker not their closer, though, ticket. He had a good fourth oh. quarter. He had like a Landry Shamit like fourth quarter, but he's not the closer, though. That's That's not fair. No, he. They look for him to be the closer last night. They just giving him to, order. To, to, no, to say to, no, to say to say that the Lakers to to say that the Golden State Warriors because this is what this sounds like to me. This sounds like to me like all the heat's on the Lakers and the Golden State Warriors are just stomping into crypto crypto dot com arena and they come in to get it. When in reality, the Lakers when they play the way that they've been playing three of the last four games, they win. 
When the offense so your goes cousin, so your cousin's wrong. Once again, when you say the Preston's on the Lakers, listen, just pay attention to the Lakers. Your cousin's the NBA God, is wrong. Damn, yo, can you just listen? I'll ask no, you a question. Is like, your cousin wrong? No, don't ask me a question. You okay, talk, then. I listen. I talk, okay, you listen. Be okay, quiet. Then. Damn. Okay, then. At four, now, can you like play that for? Saying, can you play that for chill? Like I was saying, like like I was saying, when you got Anthony Davis, when they run the offense through him, and that defense is the way it is, they're pretty unstoppable. When Schroeder is playing the way he's playing, knocking down open shots, not just knocking down open shots, D'Angelo Russell has to be better. And I think he will be better. We all know that role players play better at home. These schemes that the Los Angeles Lakers have, they've worked throughout. This isn't the first time yesterday. Yesterday isn't the first time that Gary Payton Jr. started. That's not the first time that they did it. The Lakers' defense has to be better. I think it will be better at home. I think they've done a good job on Steph Curry. I think they did a damn good job on Klay Thompson. A damn good job on Klay Thompson. And I think that that will continue. He had his two. He had those bad games in Los Angeles for a reason. And let's talk about Klay Thompson in Game 6. Let's not forget, Klay Thompson, Game 6 last year of the NBA Finals, 12 points. Klay Thompson against Memphis, 30 points. Against... uh. Uh, was it? No, I'm sorry. Twenty. I think 22 points. 22 points in Game Six. He hasn't been quote unquote Clay Thompson Game Six Clay for years. This is not a Clay Thompson that's just going to go nuclear. I'm not sure. I got to see that before I say anything about him being well, that. Or, that no. wasn't even my argument with you, Mister Grill Town. My whole argument with you was you saying you made it seem like the pressure wasn't on the Lakers. All the pressure is on the Lakers tomorrow. No, it is not. No, it is not. It, no, hold on. It is and not. I said, that's why I said, hold on. So that's explain, why I said, so explain, to people, well, explain to the people why all the heat's on the Lakers. Yeah, hold on, because the Golden State Warriors got two games at home. They got game seven at home and, and, and Golden State. So if you're, the Lakers, you if you're the Lakers, yeah, hold on, hold on. If you're the Lakers and you don't win, and you're the Lakers and you don't win the game tomorrow, that mm -hmm. means they would have beat you not once, but twice in a row. And they're going yeah. home to that raucous crowd where they're probably going to get the calls, where yeah. Steph Curry is probably going to black out, where Klay Thompson's probably going to go crazy, where Jordan Poole's going to play better, where Draymond Green's going to play better, where the rest of the role players, where Wiggins, where all those other guys are going to play better. Moody's going to be more into the game. You're going to be up against it, boy. You better now, win tomorrow night. And, and I guarantee you one thing, Chill Town, Chill Town, I'm going to say this to you. Keep going, keep going, you do all that talking. You do all that talking. I guarantee you if we go to a game seven, I guarantee you, you won't bet nothing on the Lakers to win that game. You now, just, now, you just, now, made, now, you just hold, gave hold all the reasons why the Lakers are going to win game six. Because well, you it, said, it, if it goes to game seven, the Golden State, the crowd's going to be going crazy. The, the role players are going to be playing better at home, blah, blah, blah. Steph Curry's going to black out. That's all the same reasons why the Lakers win game six. Not only that. Home, their role players are going to play better. Everybody's going to go. Come on, man. You said the exact and, same and, thing. And, and, and not only did he say the exact same thing. Ticket, can you tell everybody what the series is right now? Tell everybody what the series is right now. No, the series is 3-2. That's what it, I'm saying. Okay, so the series is 3-2. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The series is 3-2 right now. They go in on the road. They lose. What happens to the Golden State Warriors? Oh, they eliminate. Listen, they they it eliminate. Means that all the heat is on them. No, all it's of not. it. No, it's not, bro. No, no, it's not. Lose, we still have another chance. You lose, bro. you're out. That's so, it. You, look, okay, let me ask you one question, Chill. Chill, I'm you not think they win a game seven? Do you think they win a game seven, Chill, if it go to game seven? What 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 reason does there have to be a game seven? Oh, I'm asking you. I'm asking you one question, Chill Town. I'm not even thinking about game seven. There's no reason to think about Game 7. I'm okay, thinking about Chill Town. Well, we will revisit this after Game 7 and they lost. We come back here on Monday. I will get your humble, mm -hmm. humble apology in front of the world, man.